Hello, it's Janine. Today is uh, Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, June 14th. What? Back up. Um, and I'm here for an update. It's a little dark in here. It's a little dreary out. That's okay. Um, God damn, he's cute. I love you. Hold on a second. He wants to make an appearance. Come here. I got a new dining room set too, that's why the chairs look different. Um, Fuzzy Butt went to a board and train, and uh, he's amazing now. I gotta say, regarding board and trains, do your research heavily before you choose one. Make sure you choose a good one. Reviews, check them like crazy. Um, check certification, check how many years they've been doing it. Um, just research your ass off until the cows come home. Holy shit, was it worth it. For two weeks, I was sick to my stomach thinking I had just fallen for the new age door-to-door -door Tupperware salesman and I just handed over $4,500 to hand my dog off to some guy's home and I'm going to get returned the same damn dog. No, I did not. No, I did not. I got a very good gentleman. I got a gentleman back. Yes, I did. Here's a good boy. You go play with your alligator? You play with your alligator? Okay. So, my voice is hoarse. So hoarse is Harvey Firestein. <laughs> because I went to my ENT for the fourth follow up yesterday. And, uh, oh Christ, help me. I'm sorry, I'm booting it. Uh, hey! He's not allowed to bark. Um, so um, I went for the fourth follow up appointment. And I mentioned that I've been hoarse for six days. She puts the camera tube down this nostril and looks at my larynx, which is your voice box, and says that. I burnt my larynx with stomach acid through acid reflux due to stress. Excellent. So, that's been my life for the last couple of weeks. How have you been? I need a vacation. <laughs> and I just had one, but it sucked. Um, but anyway, uh, so my nose is doing okay. I have had a couple people message me, you know, was it worth the sinus surgery? Because either they or people in their family have had the same issues with their sinuses, you know, chronic sinusitis. Um, you know, is it worth it? Was it worth it? It's only been uh, four weeks since the surgery. I don't have a good, um, I don't have a good, you know, come out from it yet. I'm still recovering. I'm not going to have the good after effects for probably another two, three months. It's going to take quite some time. I'm sorry for the noise. He's chewing on an antler and he drops it on the wooden floors. So, um, so yeah, I won't get the benefits of the sinus surgery for another few months. So I can't answer this question. So I'm sorry about that. Regarding my weight, um, Last time I did a video for you guys, I think it was like 133 and change. I've gained, thank God. Uh, I've gained like about 10 pounds. So that's awesome. Um, I'm not so uncomfy. I did have uh, blood work done. I have an appointment with my um, bariatric surgeon. Uh, and I also get questions about this one. Who is my bariatric surgeon? I will plug him until the cows come home. 
Holy shit. If you want a good bariatric surgeon, let me sign you up for one. Dr. Alphonse Pomp, A-L-F-O-N-S, Pomp, P-O-M-P, okay? And he works at a Will Cornell. I'm looking down right now because I'm trying to sign on to the um, uh, website to get my blood work. Um, Dr. Alphonse Pomp, he is head of laparoscopic surgery at Will Cornell in Manhattan. Okay, 68th in York. Um, so, the man's magical. He's just flat out fucking magical. Uh, anyway, so I got some blood work back, uh, and, um, I was peeking through it the other day. Where the hell is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I was peeking through it the other day, and, um, test results. Here we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Okay. So I was peeking through my blood work the other day. I am the Hot Mess Express. Whew. I really am. Um, everything's low. Every fucking thing's low. I'm looking at parathyroid hormone. Um, Prothrom something, vitamin A, vitamin D, 25-OH, uh, which is D2, D3 total, uh, vitamin B12, uh, phosphorus, magnesium, lipid profile, hemoglobin A1C, whole blood, oh god, you name it, iron, folate serum, Ferritin, you fucking name it. I'm all low. I have been using, they're right there. I have been using the patches. I can't use it. I can't use the patches. I couldn't use it yesterday. I can't use it today. Because tomorrow morning, at, oh, I gotta write that down. Tomorrow morning, um, 9 a.m. DEXA. Uh, tomorrow morning, um, I have to get a DEXA scan, which is a bone density scan, to see how I'm fusing. Um, because they want to check, like, how close I am to starting the beginnings of osteoporosis. Um, not that I am close to it, because I'm not, um, but they want to see, like, you know, is it, uh, 20 years away from now? Is it 30 years away from now? You know, like, they want to get an idea. So, um, they want to do a DEXA scan on me. So that's tomorrow morning at 9, um... And uh, because I'm having the scan, I am not allowed to take any vitamins yesterday, none today, and none until after the DEXA scan tomorrow. Um, don't know how fast those are. Pretty sure they're pretty quick. So, yeah. Um, what else? Other than that, I'm pretty good. Um, Pupilopagus is doing great. Thank you, Jesus. My voice, I sound horrible. I am taking Nexium twice a day. I know Nexium is usually a once a day pill. I gotta double up and on top of that during the middle of the day. If I'm not doing good, I gotta Tums it. I'm not kidding. It's that bad. And it's just stress. Stress and anxiety. It sucks to be me, man. Let me tell you, it sucks to fucking be me. Um, having a hard time. You know, I kid around. <clears throat> Excuse me, I kid around with Justin a lot. Um, I feel like I'm raising four kids. You know, I've got him. I've got Justin, JJ, and Lexi. I feel like I'm raising four kids. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot. Food doesn't come in this house unless I go out and do the legwork and bring it in. Things like paper products, uh, you know, like things in bulk, um, don't come into this house unless I go out and do the legwork and bring it in from BJ's, you know, wholesale club. Um, no activities get scheduled unless I do the legwork and do the research and get it done. The dog doesn't get fed 
unless I do it. Uh, nothing gets cleaned. Literally nothing gets cleaned unless I do it. And it doesn't get cleaned because their idea of clean is not clean. I know I'm psycho, but their idea of clean, holy shit, is not clean. I don't know. A lot of you guys saw my post the other day. Uh, I went to a Yankees game. Uh, it was a Yankees Red Sox. Boston sucks. And uh, we sweeped them. Anyway, um, so I came home at 12.30 at night. JJ had dropped a glass bottle of Marsala wine in the garage. And of course the garage is made of concrete. And uh, he said he tried to clean it. And he did pretty good. Um, but he didn't go the extra mile to make sure the glass was cleaned up. And he didn't go the extra mile of bleaching out the wine on the floor. I've got a curious puppy. A puppy that likes to eat rocks. He doesn't know the difference between rocks and glass. So at 12.30 at night I was sweeping out the garage of glass and bleaching the concrete of wine so that this one can still breathe and not die by accident. Not what I wanted, you know? And of course it, you know, went three stories above that um, as far as uh, I don't want to say argument, but I had to put, uh, I had to lay down the law after that. And, um, you know, it gets rough being, it gets rough being the only one who does any sort of discipline in the house, especially when you're disciplining children that aren't yours. It's hard. Harder than disciplining your own children, you know, it's harder. Um, had another incident the other day where I had to uh, tell JJ he better check himself. And I definitely wanted to pat myself on the back for not jumping across the table and wringing his neck. Um, I wanted to pat myself on the back for that one. Yeah. Anyway, um, and he don't get to play the kid card because I have a niece the same age as him. And that niece, you know, uh, does an insane amount more in life than this guy does. He chooses to be a child because he's comfy and he doesn't like change. That's his choice because he's lazy, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to badmouth him, I'm just explaining how some kids grow and some kids choose not to grow. And you, can, you can't force, you know, you can lead a horse to water but you can't make him drink, you know what I mean? It's kind of one of those deals. So yeah, <sighs> stuck between a rock and a hard place. But anyway, um, so I'm struggling in a lot of areas, but um, in general I'm okay. I just gotta get my healthy gear. And I gotta stop sounding like a horse man. <laughs> anyway, uh, I love you guys. You know I do. You know I love you to pieces, I really do. And I just wanted to reach out and say hi. I didn't go anywhere, I really didn't. I've just been, you know, like right now, talking to the camera, I'm yelling. Like I'm using the effort to yell. Because if I just talked, you couldn't hear me. I promise you, you couldn't hear the words coming out of my mouth. I'm using the effort to yell so you could hear these words. If I just used the effort I would use to talk, you couldn't hear me right now. So it's exhausting to talk. So, yeah. Anyway, I love you guys. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.